Hi, I'm Katie Monnings and I'm a British rally driver. And today I'm going to be watching Sky's new documentary about Michelle Mouton, the Queen of Speed. Why is it that you, a sweet girl, can drive this huge car so well? To drive a car is not necessary to be a man. I mean, the quality you need to drive a car can be very feminine. I think for any female rally driver, but also probably racing driver growing up, um, she was the one that you kind of looked to. I think, especially in, in challenging situations where you might be the only girl at, on a rally or um, you might just be feeling quite isolated. In those times when she would have been in low points asking herself those questions, she didn't see a female to look up to. Um, she just became that female. And I think that's so inspiring. And I think what she did was incredible, but actually what she did in her era was, that's the thing that impresses me about Michelle. Immediately, he said, you are able to be behind the wheel. I know you like to drive. He said, I will buy you a racing car. I will pay for one year. If you are good enough, you will continue. If not, you will stop. My relationship with my dad um, is really similar to Michelle and her dad. I can see the same face in my dad um, as the footage that I see of Michelle's when he stood there trying not to be involved with the team, but you know, wanting to, you know, make sure they put in that bolt on quick, uh, on tight and, and making sure that everything is perfect. And it's, I think that's just a father thing. I love challenges. Somebody saying something, you are not able to do that, bam, I will show you that I am able to do that. You know, if you play, you play to win. I really do think rally is sort of in your blood. You have to be born with a certain kind of something. You know, it's like 3 a.m., why are you sat up checking your pace notes? You know, why do you want to drive down that lane really quickly? And you don't have an answer, you genuinely don't. And I think it's just something that's like burning in here that you feel. And I think that translates so well in the documentary from Michelle. It's like, there's always got to be this inner fire and an inner motivation. Things that I've seen in her in her early career that actually I felt. You know, if it's stupid things like she was saying she'd go out dancing with her friends and then coming home, she'd try and find twisty lanes to drive quickly through. I mean, I, that was where I started in motorsport, really. I had an hour drive to school every day and back. And I would always be, you know, looking, not necessarily driving fast, but looking for the racing line and the sense of flow on a road. I and mean, I think that's what's addictive is the, the feeling of, um, oh, I, it's, it's like dancing in a car. The first time we arrive uh, in the workshop, I think the mechanic wonder what are those two women doing here, you know? The first time when um, Michelle and Fabrizio went to Audi and visited the garage, you know, Michelle explained how they kind of felt that they were the spare parts or the, or the PR stunts. Naturally, being a female in motorsport, whether that's intended or not, you feel that instantly as soon as you turn up somewhere new um, because I think it's just been ingrained. And I still have it nowadays, to be honest with you. You really have to get your knowledge out there quite quickly to prove that you know what you're talking about. Um, you know, I was watching also where Michelle um, was having issues driving the Fiat and I saw her try and go around a, a hairpin in Italy and um, she kind of just couldn't get the car around and then had to reverse and go back. And it was like, instantly I felt sick because I had that exact experience in, in Rally Rome, so not that far. I took the corner full speed, like if it was no ice, and uh, it was very violent shock, you know, and uh, some conclusion for Fabrice and for me, I have really some twist leg. For me, probably the scariest was um, in Rally Poland. So it was a it's a tarmac event, but it was really fast. And normally in these kind of rallies, they'll put in chicanes or or make the courses go a different route to slow them down. They always work out the average kilometers an hour on the track to see if it's going to be too fast and too dangerous. Um, and it was kind of a residential area, but they had grass and stuff out the front. But I, it was a flat out kind of corner in my pace notes. I'd gone over a crest, but where I'd gone over the crest, one of the wheels had got light more than the others. And it was just the physics of the way that we kind of caught the tarmac again. Um, it just completely spun us around instantly out of control. It was literally nothing I could have done. This is happening in like, you know, tenths of a second. And so we're then going sideways across grass. We hit an electricity um, kind of steel um, kind of pylon, I guess. They had um, kind of different setups for what we have over here. But then I hit this child's swing and then I hit, I flipped me up into the air. So I actually hit the second floor of this house and just kind of smashed the wall and went, slid down the wall. And you can hear a scream on our on onboard camera. And it wasn't us in the car. It was actually the woman that was inside the house. And two minutes before that, she'd actually been sat outside on a deck chair that I'd just plowed through and she'd gone inside to make a cup of coffee. 
Um, and for me, I think when that the moment kind of settled, we were fine. Obviously, you know, we put massive cracks through her house. And I think when when the moment settled on that, and we realised actually this is like a this is a re really dangerous sport. The situation went a little bit different the morning of the start. At seven o'clock, I got a, a phone call from Claude. He told me, my father, he, he died. Everything I did was uh, because of him, and suddenly he was not there anymore, and, and so. Losing him was uh, really difficult. Oh, my heart actually breaks for Michelle when I watch that. Um, I think that never probably gets easier for her looking back on um, the feeling of everything being at stake. And I can't, you know, I can't imagine what she was going through. I think it shows an incredible strength and character to be able to carry on like she did. I couldn't have done that. I, I know right now I'd be a complete mess. I'd be in tears and I'd, I would be really suffering with it. She really found a, a big reserve of strength from somewhere to be able to pull through that. And it's really admirable because you know, it, it says a lot to everyone that's watching and saying, oh, she was just a female driver. She was there, you know, she got support from Audi to be a PR stunt. Actually, when you see what she was going through, she she really wanted to be there. She, her and Fabrizio, they were giving everything. I mean, they gave their lives for that. They chose the car over their life in that moment. And I think that's a really big task of anyone. And I'm not sure that a lot of her male counterparts would have done that. Um, and I think it also showed the, the relationship that she had between motorsport and her father. The fact that that was her way of honouring him, I think is really special. And I can relate to that a lot because you leave a lot out on the stages and it, it really moved me watching it. And um, yeah, I, I mean, you just want to give her a hug <laughs> when you're watching the footage, you really do. I think it just comes back to that inner fire and having the motivation to continue. And um, yeah, I think there's no better example than watching her start that race. And, and you know, it's heartbreaking how it ended, but. I think she was there and she was trying and that's the biggest message for everyone. She competed on the same cars, on the same tracks as the men and beat them. And, and I think that's something that very few women has managed to do in any sport. Her legacy is uh, empowering women, awaking us men how we should be ashamed, sometimes how we underestimate women. Michelle, in her blood, she was born to be a rally driver, definitely. Thanks for watching. You can watch Queen of Speed on Sky Documentaries.